Hi guys, it's Mel here from Mel W Scrapping. Um, I'm going to do a layout for you guys today for um, for me. <laughs> How about that? Not for anything in particular. Um, I'm going to do some base pages. I'm going to get some base pages done. And I'm going to use all my scraps. I went through all my scraps. I think I can make four or five more um, base pages out of my scrapper sketch leftovers. All my scraps from Scrapper Sketch, including some cardstock. So that's just some coloured cardstock that I had. And I used some black on the one underneath. But let, let's do the one underneath first because it's going to go the quickest. So, I don't know why I've got that on there. Um, I've cut three by fours or, you know, to fit three by four photos on there. These are the four bits of brick I had. Well, I've actually got some other bits left as well, but I thought, you know what? I'm just going to make a base page out of this um, because I'm going to play along with a hop in November with Ginger from Ginger's Corner, and it's to do 20 base pages in 20 days. So I need to get 20 base pages made up. I'm on the way. I think I'm up to... I think I've got eight done and this will make ten. I can get my fingers to work. I just don't want to rip any more than I've cut. So this is, a lot of this is from, some of this is, well not a lot, some of this is from leftover um, from Magical Memories um, that I did my audition layouts for. Um... And the rest is just stuff that I've bought. And I like, I don't mind mixing um, collections together. That's me. I am a mix. If it looks good together, then it's going together. If you know what I mean. I have never made base pages until this year. So this is a bit of a learning curve for me. Um, and to be perfectly honest... I don't know if they're going to look any good at the end, but I'm going to go right over to the end there. Have I gone up too high? I think I've gone up slightly too high. Let's put this one first, then I'll know where I am. Um, so then it's just a matter of finding photos and then embellishing and putting your title on. So I might get to this page and think... Oh, let's turn it that way. I know bricks don't go that way, but hey, what if they could? That would be pretty wicked. There's no saying that a brick can't go that way. Unless I have the brick police coming. I'll get these stuck down and then we'll, we'll turn it around and stuff. We'll have a look at it. Um, because you can get these things on there here, you can get an idea, and then think, oh, I don't really like that idea I had. Alright, so I'm going to go in a bit there. So I was going to go, it's going to go something like this. <laughs> and in actual fact, I like this better. I had it that going the other way. And I like this one better. I knew that would happen. Um, I'm just putting one bit on the middle so that I can take them off and put the photos on properly. Move them around if I have to. So I'm going to go on like that side. Let's go that bit there. Something like that, anyway. Something like that. Let's see on the day how I go. I can't, there's no reason I can't put the title here. Or the title here. 
embellish. Okay, so there's one done. These bits you're probably going to say to me, what the heck are you doing? But I'm going to show you that I am going to use bits that some people will probably chuck it out. And I am going to use them. And you can already see, probably on camera, what ones I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm going to start over here on the left. I'm going to pop these strips on. These are just branding strips. Because um, Elisa actually designs all this paper. So it's some of this Runaway Princess. That was from... Oh, that one. Oh, I keep sticking to that one. This one was from... Oh, that's Runaway Princess too. I've got double-sided tape on me everywhere. I actually quite liked the Runaway Princess stuff. So I'm going to go two branding strips. One's wood, one's like a, like a, I don't know what it is. That's a rock type thing. That's bubbly rock type thing. I don't know. Mel has some really strange names for things. I have to remember what I did now. Yeah, that went over. Okay, so I'll go like that. Coming in a bit. I'm going to put that one on first. So you can see I've cut circles out of this. I'm going to use it. You're probably thinking, you are insane, woman. Yeah, I probably am insane. But it's happening. Whether I'm insane or not. I might actually just tear that bit off. And then I'm going to go on top. So, and then I'm going to go like so. Oh, that's already got stuff. I'm completely insane, but it's a base page, so we can move around. We could add. No reason why we can't add to it. Hopefully, Ginger doesn't have stipulations on. And then I'm going to go like that. And they're still probably thinking, what are you doing? Look, just trust me, everyone. Just trust me. As Ginger said, there's no wrong way to play with paper. I reckon if Elisa saw this, she'd probably have a heart attack. Thinking, what is she doing with my paper? It's okay. It's okay, Elisa. Don't, don't worry. Are you getting my gifts now? Right, now I'm only going to put one on the back of that. That's going in here like so. Then we are going to go... I'm going to go like that actually with my banners. I made some banners. Oh, Mel, what are you doing? It's okay. I'm allowed to yell at myself. Yeah, I didn't quite know how much that I was going to use of this. Put some more tape on that one. Oh, 
Alright, tight. Let's get a tight. Okay, cut that bit off. And then I can put the heading up here, embellish in here. And that's the other layout done. That is my other one done for base page. So that's one. I still may lift that up a little bit yet. And then that's two. And then I can always turn it around and use it that way if I didn't, you know, depends on what the mood takes me. And then this is our other one. Hopefully that is in screenshot. Okay, so that is the video for today. Um, doing base pages. To me it was just putting scraps together and seeing what I can come up with on the page. Um, and I've got a couple of other, I think there's a pinky one and a purpley one to go yet. Pinky red one. So we'll see what we can come up with those scraps. Okay, so thank you everyone for watching. Um, I hope that you get some sort of inspiration out of these um, base pages that you could think of. Oh, let's just stick some scraps here, there and everywhere and, and turn it round. See, I may even change that to go that side and have my title going like that. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see on the day. We'll turn around and see which way which way is taking our fancy. You go like that. Anyway. Not too bad. Anyway, let's see what let's see how we go. I'm just mulling things over in my brain now. Okay, so, um, thank you for watching. If you think you might want to have a go at some of these, by all means, press pause, take a screenshot, and have a go. You may have different size um, bits of scrap. Pop them on there, and as you just saw me do, change your, turn your page around. See which way looks better for you. Um, and let's see what we can come up with in November. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I appreciate you all for being here. I do hope that if you're new to my channel that you, I've done enough for you to consider subscribing, you know, with scraps. And um, let's see what we can achieve in November. Thank you. See you all in the next video. Stay safe. Stay warm. Stay cool. And happy scrapping. Bye for now.